welcome back, folks. I think this is going to be a pretty interesting episode. Uh, I hope so, anyway. Uh, so, in between episodes, I went ahead and I put in a train line, well, uh, the tracks and the station, down to Bordeaux. So Bordeaux is going to have a train station here. Uh, it's also going to have a cargo station. We might integrate that with uh, with this station if we can. Uh, we can. So I think we'll definitely integrate it with this station. And we'll have cargo going up the same way uh, as the other tracks. And come into Paris with a, a new uh, platform and, and set of tracks. So that's the plan for that. Now, I want to get this down to Barcelona as well. And there is a really, really cool uh, elevated train station where we can have the street underneath. And that is what I want to do for uh, Barcelona down here. So we need to tear out a bit of Barcelona. Sorry, guys. Uh, but it's going to have to happen. Something like that, I think. And we will get this in here. And I think... I want it to go a little bit more like this. Can we... Connect the road up? It doesn't look like we can, does it? I really want to connect the road up. So we'll see if we have to tear, tear down more, but this is where I want it. We do still have a collision going on. So you know what? Let's tear down this bit of Barcelona as well. I am very, very sorry, Barcelona, for uh, all this destruction. Um, maybe we can come up some and there we go all right so i think this is the way i want it and look at this we have the street going underneath which i really really like that is so cool uh, we are going to smooth this terrain if we can come on guys there we go. I've been to Barcelona and I don't feel like it's this mountainy. Well, I've actually been to Barcelona for a, f a few times for work. And it doesn't seem this uh, mountainy to me. But it is what it is. So there. Alright, let's fix up the roads. Uh, we want tram tracks. Uh, you know, can we do this? No. So we need to get it going in there. Um, let's demolish that and connect this up there, and then we can connect this up there. That looks better. And we have tram tracks going underneath, which is really cool in my opinion. And we'll have a, a tram stop, I guess over here somewhere, to get to the station. Nah, maybe here. So that it connects directly. Yeah, I think that'll be the thing. But for now, we need to put in some tracks and get up to Bordeaux. And really, whoa, uh, we just need one of them. We just want one of them to go over to Bordeaux. And let's see, if we do this, there's no way of getting through these mountains without it being one big tunnel. Uh, so that's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. So let's do a bridge.
120. I suppose that's fine. And then a tunnel. Uh, let's do this one. Okay. And it goes in there, and it's max speed all the way, which is fantastic. So I think we'll take that. It only costs us 3.6 million. Boom, in you go. And we're gonna... Try to get this... Going up to there. There we go. And the tunnels look good. Yeah, the tunnel looks good. And the other uh, track will be for the Bene uh, Iberian Peninsula. So we'll go Madrid, Seville, Lisbon, or we'll just go Madrid, Seville, and then Lisbon will come in to on its own little uh, line and I think that's what we're going to do because there is another really cool train station that I am just dying to try and I think we'll be using it a couple of places uh, probably we'll replace Hamburg station we'll replace uh, we will put it in Frankfurt maybe and and probably in Prague as well it's really a very cool, cool station uh, I'm not going to show it to you now because we're not building it now. I want to show it to you when we when we build it, but it is a really cool station. It is a really cool station. So there we go. Uh, we have that in. Let's upgrade the roads uh, because we want our tram. I think we want it to go over here, down like this, and then it'll come out that way. And of course we need that one as well. So something like that, though I don't really think, I, I think this station, ah, it doesn't quite catch all of it, so we do need a... Um, and I did make it as long as it can be, and it can only be 240 meters. So we have to keep that in mind when we put in the trains, that they cannot be more than 240 meters long. And these are the trains that are going to go all the way up to Glasgow. Because we're going to extend the line from up there all the way down to Barcelona which I think will be really cool so you you can basically hop on the train in Barcelona and go all the way to Glasgow without switching trains which is cool and then we will need a cargo station as well because Barcelona is going to be a pretty big port I think for for stuff Uh, going over to uh, Milan, Rome, Naples. So, yeah. But I am looking forward to seeing this in action. We do need to put in some signals. So, it should be pretty straightforward. Signals. Uh, one way, yes. Auto sig, yes. And we will put a signal in here, I think. That should auto sig all the way up to there. Yep. And we will put in a signal there. That should auto sig all the way back. Yes. And then we will put in a signal here, I suppose. And that should auto sig all the way up to Paris. Indeed it did. Beautiful. And that should auto sig all the way back. And it did. Man, I love that mod. 
All right. So we have basically connected Glasgow to Barcelona. As long as we grab the line and manage the line. And let's see, we go Paris, London, Liverpool, Manchester, Glasgow, London. Then we need to add Paris again. And then Bordeaux, Barcelona, Bordeaux, and back to Paris. Okay. This is good. This is good. All right. So we just extended that train line quite a bit. Basically, we doubled the length of it. So yeah, uh, then we want to get uh, some passenger buildings in here or passenger stations. And I think I want to use this one for uh, Bordeaux, we will turn it around, and I think I want to put it in here, and, well, we are in 1919, and actually, let's let time pass, because that is something that I wanted to do as well, um, and I wanted to talk a little bit about, is that... I think what we're going to do is we're going to play until 2022 because that's the year we're in. So let's just let time pass. We'll play until 2022 and I think that'll be, be good uh, for this one. I want this, I think. We will put it in here. We obviously want tram tracks. Uh, actually, we need to put it over here because we don't have tram tracks on the other side. So more houses to be removed. My apologies to the citizens. But there we go. Actually, let's configure this. Um, and try and make it a little bit longer. There's a collision there. Dang it. All right. You know what? We're going to... Oh, we have planes. Planes are a thing. Okay. Cool, cool. Uh, let's make it 30 meters. And we'll put it in there. Okay, so there we go. Then, so we already have 19 passengers down here. And we have a couple there. So Barcelona I get because the train station basically covers most of it. Uh, but certainly not all. Uh, I think we'll do a stop down here. And then we'll do a stop over here. And maybe one over here. So that is Barcelona's intercity thing or internal city thing and then we'll put a stop over here and a stop up here and I think we'll stick in a street uh, over here so that we can get a stop up here and obviously 
it was a mistake putting in the tram lines. So there we go. And I think that'll be fine for Bordeaux. Then we need a couple of new lines. One going from there to there to there to there. And this will be Barcelona. Ramp. And another new line, which will be Barcelona tram going the other way. Uh, Barcelona tram one. And then up here, we need Bordeaux circle. Uh, circle. Do we do one the other way around? I suppose we do. From, from there to there to there to there. And that will be Bordeaux. Circle one. Okay. Now we need a tram depot down here for uh, Barcelona let's uh, can we fit it in here I highly doubt it nah uh, let's put it in the uh, let's put it over here somewhere like that smooth that out a bit and we'll buy some trams uh, so we want I think I'll go with the Manx so we'll buy one of them make it yellow and put it on Barcelona tram and then we'll buy another one uh, What's, what color is that? Uh, Barcelona tram. It's uh, green. I guess it's the color right next to it. Is my guess. All right. So we have those trams going. And Barcelona is rebuilding, which is great. All right. Then over here, we can bring we can bring vehicles down from Paris. Uh, oh, no, we can't because that's a tram depot. Well, we can bring vehicles down from Amsterdam. Yeah. So we want passenger. I think we'll go with the Gaganau. And we'll just buy one for the Bordeaux Circle. Which is light blue. And then we'll buy another one. Which was this color, I think. For the Bordeaux Circle 1. And they will make their way down there. It's a long way, but it's fine. Oh, let's turn off the lag machines. Okay. So... There are a few wanting to go to Paris there. There are a lot going wanting to go. And uh, you're already full. Uh, let's see. I think we'll clone this twice. To get five trains on here. And that's probably not enough. Uh, Paris is probably drowning. Uh, it's not actually too bad. Wow, a lot of new vehicles. I love it. The crocodile, that thing looks weird. The Schneider PP2 bus though. London is drowning, yeah. London is absolutely dry, drowning. Liverpool and Manchester is doing pretty good. 
Glasgow has a lot of people waiting. Fantastic. You have 13 people on board. There are 32 waiting over here. You are making a profit, which is fan freaking tastic. And if we take a look at our production over here, we're actually not getting enough coal now. Our amount of coal has dwindled significantly. Which is not fine, but we can live with it for now. We have a lot of steel sitting here. So I think what we'll go ahead and do is just clone you like three times. Clone. Okay. And I think what I might do is add a truck line going from the coal up here because we're definitely getting more iron ore in now and we want this to level up again. We're not happy with the production that it has now. How's it looking down here? We still have way more, way, way more uh, plastic than we have steel. So what's your rate right now? 481. That's okay, actually, with what we can produce right now. But I think I will stick in a... Uh, truck station. Uh, let's stick it in there. Uh, no tram tracks. Is this a truck station? It should be a truck station, yeah. Just one platform. Go there. Then we need to configure you so that you have one more. Oops. Uh, not passenger. Cargo. Right, but it's fine because we're dropping off. We don't need to stockpile things. And we'll set up a new line from there to there. And we'll call it uh, Live Man Pool to Steel. Okay. And that's fine. Then we need some vehicles for it. Uh, we don't have anything here. We have something up here, don't we? Yeah. Uh, buy vehicles. Cargo. We'll get you. We'll get, let's say, 10. And stick you on... Live man calls to steel. Ten is probably maybe overkill, I don't know. But we basically can't get the trains doing anything more. So this is what it is. And once those trucks get down there, we'll be delivering more coal so the coal can keep up. Look at how much uh, iron ore we have now. And we could potentially get coal from here as well, but I really don't think we need to. I really don't think we need to. Now, another thing I was looking at was over here, these trains, they are running the B3 Preuss thing. BR53 Preuss thing. So, what if we upgraded those? They can carry 100 right now. But if we replace them, 
with A35 and didn't we get new cargo wagons? I thought we got new cargo wagons. Anyway, um, so it's only a capacity of 104, so it's only a capacity of four more right now, but they go faster at every incline. And I think that'll be worth it. So let's replace them. This will hopefully see us getting more uh, planks going, which means seeing more tools going. We have the Daimler Deck Seat Car. Well, that sounds cool. And the Vickers. So before, our rate here was around 400 something, I think. No, it's 647. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it was 400 and... Uh, maybe it was around 500. No matter what, I'm pretty sure that we are... have increased it. I am pretty sure we have increased it. Trains are going faster, and as we can see, if we look at the speeds, they can actually go the 80 pretty much the whole way. And there's a little bit here where they have to slow down to 78, but other than that, they can go 80 the whole way. Which I think will make a big difference because before they could do a maximum of like 50. So that's almost a double speed with a little bit more cargo every time as well so this should go a long way okay very very good how are we looking here uh, we don't have that much uh, sitting here now which is good over here we have a shitload sitting pardon my french going to amsterdam and rotterdam and some sitting going to Berlin and we actually just picked up for Berlin so you know what I think we're going to do we're going to clone you and get another train going with goods and I think that'll be good uh, goods over here looks fine we don't have a backup anymore we did but no longer but we might when we get this uh, going again. So down here, fuel to Amsterdam. This is the Gunstadt. We have 50 vehicles on this. Let's replace you with the Benz. That should make a difference. We have quite a lot sitting here. Wow, there are a lot of people waiting for trams here. Yeah, they are. We definitely need more vehicles on the Amsterdam Brussels tram. Uh, let's see wh which one is this. This is the dumped um. Can we replace you with something better? 27 capacity of 11. It really doesn't make a big difference, does it? And it's electric. We don't have electricity in here yet. So we, I don't think we're going to replace them. I think we're going to clone them. Not all of them, but maybe three. Let's try that. 
We do have a lot of people waiting for them. Maybe actually just doubling might have been okay. Let's try this first. Our refinery here is operating at basically max capacity. So is this. So we can't deliver fuel to any other towns with these. And we might actually have to cut Berlin off and get Berlin fuel some other way. Uh, because we're getting uh, quite a bit of uh, demand for it. Yeah, a lot of demand for it. So these three towns alone are do have a demand of around 700. So let's see. Oh, Brussels now demands other things as well. Cool. But Amsterdam, 228. London, 267. Berlin, 208. So now we have four demands for our towns. So we can actually start delivering more stuff. Which is not a bad thing. Which is not a bad thing. We don't have that many people wanting to go to Bordeaux. But that's understandable because we don't really have anything going on down here. A lot of people wanting to go from Barcelona though. Which is great. But once we get some deliveries going to Bordeaux and to uh, Barcelona. Then I think we will have uh, quite a bit more demand. We got a Prussian T20, which can do 65 kilometers an hour. That's not more than our A35. So our bricks up here, we are still completely full of bricks. Uh, how many vehicles do we have on this? 10? Let's clone three of them. Get some more going. Because we want as many bricks as we can over here. So yeah. And Brussels is not even getting enough bricks. So you know what? Let's clone another two. So we get up to 15. That's 50% extra. And I think that'll be good. Hopefully that will also mean that it will produce more, maybe. Well, it is getting there. How are you doing? 300. All right, so this is getting better. Okay, so our steel works here. Is it seriously? Yeah. Terminal two, please. That was part of the problem. Okay. So this should start going up. This should start going up. A little bit anyway. Because it should be getting more coal. You have coal sitting here, right? Yeah, a little bit. Not that much though. Can you please start producing more coal for that? We're only pro transporting half of what it needs uh, so what's the rate on you 
374 and your rate is 613 so we should be able to ship around a thousand or transport around a thousand now so hopefully this will get better hopefully this will get better I mean we have tons of coal sitting here so start delivering some over to the to the trucks I think it will it'll just take a little bit of time for it to get into the hang of it uh, you're bringing 113 113 122 117 so yeah, we are getting uh, quite a bit of iron ore now, which is fan freaking tastic. But anyway, we are out of time. I think next time we will uh, continue on our Iberian adventure down here and get Barcelona hooked up to Madrid and Seville and maybe to Lisbon as well. I'm not entirely sure on that yet. I also want to get... Um, wood going from here over to the sawmill and over to the tools which can then be brought back to lisbon and be taking up to barcelona which i think could be pretty nice but we'll figure that out as we go along so thank you very much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did why not leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you next time